Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Thursday, April the 14th. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, I've got a, a, a long time, for, i got to <laughs> use the word long time for these people I've known for a while instead of saying old. I've got a long time <laughs> friend, Lois Long, uh, with me today. Good to have you, Lois. And Thank you. you are an advocate for caregivers and persons with dementia. Exactly. That's the correct title, isn't it? That'll work. Uh, Lois uh, wants to talk a little bit about what happens to the brain. But first, you wanted to, uh, well, just go ahead. And... Okay. Well, I've decided we've talked actually for years, and sometimes a picture's worth a thousand words, yeah. as the old saying goes. And so I have a publication that I wanted to share some pictures from that was put out by the University of Alabama some yeah. years ago. But it has pictures of what the brain looks like, uh, of course, after someone has passed and the brain is examined to see what conditions are resulting from something that is called dementia. And dementia comes from Latin words. The D-E part is out of, and the mentia is for the word mens, M-E-N-S, which is mind. So out of mind. So if we take what has come out of our mind, our brains literally, we can see perhaps better how the, um, the tissue that's not there anymore to process our thoughts, to remember our, what we did yesterday or 10 minutes ago, the short-term memory, and how this is associated and these symptoms are merely symptoms of different diseases. The primary one that we talk about is Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. It can start 10 years before there are symptoms that show up. And what happens literally is the brain is dying and shrinking up. That's true. And when we show you these pictures, now if you're listening on the radio, we'll try to describe the best you can, but you also you know, watch this segment on uh, YouTube on the KBIA website and you'll know exactly what we're talking about. You want to show the pictures and describe this, Lois? Yes, let's start with the one that came from the page about Alzheimer's disease. And at the top of the page, it shows what's called a cross-section. When you take the brain and cut down through the middle, it's a cross-section of the tissue. At the bottom is another brain, which would be typical of someone who has Alzheimer's disease. And there's a big, there's two big holes there and, and that is where the tissue has died and the brain right, has shrunk right uh the technical term is cortical the cortex of the brain atrophy and atrophy means death so it has wasted away it is not there so it cannot function and the description of what happens with uh the example here is when people have dementia they may um have problems eating and uh, sleeping. The nerve cells that control hunger, I'm reading, are deep in the brain in a region called the hypothalamus. And the patient's appetite may change when Alzheimer's disease has killed these brain cells. So they become picky eaters and they may like a particular kind of food like sweets, maybe we all do, but it asks for caregivers to be patient with these people to help them maintain their normal weight so their body can, can still function. You know, just looking at these pictures and describing it, it makes it a little bit easier to understand what is going on in our head and what's going on with people who have dementia. They have no control over what they are doing or saying. When you see that large parts of the brain are simply missing. Right. They're, they're gone. They disappeared. They shrunk up. They died. So 
you 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 can't expect these folks to act any other way than what they are doing. They have no control over it. Right, and it, it's not one constant thing. It comes and goes, and this makes it particularly hard for caregivers to say, well, he did that just fine yesterday. Why can't he do it today? Well, the brain processes through nerves, and it is the nerve fibers that don't connect anymore. And although much, much research is done, there's not anything proven to stop this disease. It may help control behavior when people become very anxious and upset uh, because they can't figure out what to do. But let's, let's go to the positive side. Research is being done every day, and hopefully, hopefully sometime in the future, there will be a medical breakthrough that is able to stop this. I don't know if they will ever be able to reverse it, but stop it in its tracks. Well, that is the hope, and this past week has been what we call Memory Week, and we who are advocates have been contacting legislators because uh, Congress has approved a significant amount uh, increase of money for NIH, the National Institutes of Health, and this is where so much of the research is being done. So there's a lot being done. Uh, donations are always acceptable, and uh, it doesn't take long. Are we running out of time? Yeah, no, I, you want to go ahead and show the other part of yeah, the brain. Yeah, let's look at the other picture. Now, we which... got another picture here. Again, if you'll go to YouTube on the KBIA website and look at this if you're listening on the radio. And um, what is described at the top is the parietal section of the brain, of a normal brain, but underneath is, again, a picture of what a, an Alzheimer's brain looks like. And as I've been talking about the things we do every day, they're called activities of daily living, and that's getting up, you know, mm -hmm. washing your face and so forth. But at the bottom, uh, there is a comparison of what happens in early Alzheimer's. Early Alzheimer's, middle Alzheimer's, and then at the end, and it has shrunken up considerably. Right. The change in the amount of brain tissue is like a third of what a normal brain size yeah. would be. So there is not, you know, not the... Uh, not the brain there to do the work right. that we expect our brains to do. Uh, Lois, we are out of time, but if people want more information, they can call the uh, the helpline, and that that's 24 hours a day, right? Right. It is 800-272-3900. So you want to get a pen, write it down, 800-272-3900, or you can go to alz.org org for more information I, we didn't get your poem in here today maybe next time all right but i think we were able to share a lot of good information and it gives you some idea of what happens uh when you are diagnosed with alzheimer's and i think it's fair to say that it will touch everyone one way or another and family right? yes thank you for listening and watching bye-bye